Well, let's get right to it. What is one of the craziest setups uh, of a couple that's presented themselves in your courtroom? Do you have a story, the wildest thing you've seen there? Uh, I don't know if it's the wildest, but there are some things that really stand out. We get a lot of couples in our courtroom who have a variety of problems. One that stands out in my mind was a man who was accused of cheating on his wife, and his girlfriend came to court, and she testified. <laughs> at the what? end, yes, yeah, so well, get get away away, yes. but it gets so better. At the end of the proceeding, <laughs> we tell him, "You've got to make a choice." Your wife or your girlfriend, <gasps> who's it going to be? Bum, bum, bum. This only, That's a good tease to break. <laughs> this, should, this should only be maybe a half a millisecond time between yeah. that question and oh, the answer. He paused. Oh, what he paused. I love pause. He, he's, he paused. He's looking. He, he looked at his her. wife. This is he looked juicy. at his girlfriend. He looked back at her. You can, ah! can see his mind turning. The wife is looking at him like, are you kidding me? Is it taking you this long to answer? And I said under my breath, I think we have an answer. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So I, that was completely unexpected because again, it should have been like that. No. Yeah, you don't serious, have to think about, about that one. Yeah. They, they've been married for like 13 years or something Oof. like that. So and See, part, they both both women should walk out because it's like if you can't choose me wholeheartedly right now, even if I am the mistress, yeah. that's and a problem. And on TV. Yeah. So tell yeah. me, how did you guys get your start in law? Did you guys know what? when you were young that this is what you wanted to do? I decided in fourth grade to be a lawyer wow. because I wanted to be a veterinarian, but I can't stand the sight of blood. And <laughs> so that kind of wiped that out. <laughs> and so I decided in fourth grade that I wanted to be a lawyer. Wow. Yeah. And I wanted to be a lawyer since probably junior high school. And oh, so wow. that, was, that was the career path. Okay. So I know how it is in my household. I have a junior law degree, so you know. Uh -huh. Um, as in, I argue well. <laughs> so, <laughs> I just want to know how two lawyers that come together who litigate, who have been at least trained to litigate, how does that work in your household and then also going to work? I mean, my goodness, I couldn't imagine. <laughs> it actually works a lot better than you think because lawyers are trained to stick to the issues, to not make it personal, oh. to stick to the argument. And a lot of the disagreements that we have, we try to do that. It helps with advancing the oh, argument, wow. but it really helps with our relationship and our marriage because it's not personal. How long have you been married? We've been married for 29 years, oh. together for 36 years. Okay, yeah. you got good advice. I'll take I'll take that advice. But now, so together that. for the better part of 30 <laughs> years, but Dana, when you met Keith, you weren't exactly looking for him for yourself in the beginning, if I if I heard correctly. That's correct. He was he he liked my roommate, and mm -hmm. she was very pretty. She was cute. So I was trying to get them together. We went on a double date that has to be in the record books as the worst double date <laughs> ever. Really? That's because you left with each other's man? Well, no. We, I went, no. It was, she, they just, we went to the movie together. She sat there, and he sat here. They was like, dude, what? you That's always the worst supposed to be sitting yeah. yeah. there. She, she, she didn't really like him. She liked him as a person, but not to date him. And so... Are but, you still friends with that person? No. <laughs> because... After we actually started dating and she found out what a cool guy he was, then she was <gasps> mad at me. Oh, really? Yeah. Then you saw, oh, no. tell us what happened after oh, the movie. <laughs> wait, 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 tell oh, us what happened. So, so how'd you get so, together? Well, you know, we were always hanging out together and everybody kept saying, are you all dating? We're like, no, we're just friends. And they're like, call us when you figure out that you're dating. <laughs> and we just enjoy spending time together. Oh, right. And so, so it took a few oh, months before we so would funny. finally admit it. But everybody, including my mom, knew we were dating, but us. So, yeah, that's <laughs> funny. So I got to admit, I got a, 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 a huge respect, not only because you guys are so great at what you do, but also to be together for as long as you have and to work professionally together because I just got engaged about a, a month and a half Yay! ago. Thank you very much. And my fiance also works in the television business. Okay. So when we go home, we're each other's biggest critics. Like, I wouldn't have used that word maybe there. I would have mm. given it a pause before I asked this question. You guys are doing your show together. Uh -huh. Do you have those moments as a married couple of Dana or, or Keith? What are you doing? Well, I think, <laughs> though, because we've been together so long and we know that it's coming from the right place, yeah. when he tells me, yo, you should have done that differently, I don't take it personal. Okay. I know that it's... It's him trying to make me my best self. Exactly. So, it, okay, I got more questions because I get this. So, <laughs> in your head, though, are you like, yeah, okay, that's nice advice. Do you brush <laughs> it off or do you accept the advice? Or? I, it depends. Sometimes I'm like, dude, stop. 
Other times, I'm like, <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, that makes sense. But yeah, it depends. It okay, depends. okay. And, and the good thing is, you always know it's coming from a place of positivity. It's not me trying to tear her down. It's not me trying to get her yeah. job. It's not me trying to trying get, her, to get fired. her job. You can't get my job. <laughs> 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 Only look, I can be Mrs. Cutler. Look, I'm coming for you. So, <laughs> so before we take a break, because you guys have been doing it so, for so long and it shows on TV the love you have for each other, quick advice for two uh, people that are, are new, newly married and one who's about to get married. I would say this, learn how to fight fairly. Mm. And don't say, you as the bride, don't ever say something to your husband that he can't see you as his bride. He needs to always Ooh. see you as that beautiful woman on that perfect day. I love that. That's right. my advice. Keith, whatever you did to get her or him, Ooh. continue to do it to keep her or him. That's good advice, Keith. There you go. That's a perfect place and to take a break. And by her or him, he means her. They were supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> they were supposed to have oh, the last word. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. You can catch the couples court with the Cutlers. It's weekdays at 4 and 9.30 a.m. right here on The U. It's great stuff. Wildly entertaining. And uh, you guys give great advice, as you just heard right there.